I never, I never wanted a sober mission. I had some negative experience with missionaries being really pushy and mean. And I just kind of had this negative idea of what it was like to be a missionary, and I didn't want any part of it. I didn't want to have to force people to listen to the gospel. I didn't want to force mission members to find me people to teach. Um, but that's not what a mission is. <laughs> it's 100% serving the Lord, and it's just coming. Um, Rosemary M. Wixom in the MTC said that a mission is a spring war to a lifetime walk with Christ. And that's really what a mission is, is it's just serving alongside Christ, representing him, recognizing that you took his name upon you and you were there to become one with him, to accomplish the Lord's will, to find those that are determined to serve him. And I may not have had like 25 baptisms on my mission. I might not even have enough to count on one hand, but I know that the Lord used me for miracles in the California Modesto mission. And it's not because of my abilities or my talents or my thoughts, but I know I was called there for those things and that he used me through those things. But those miracles happen because I strove to be one with the Savior in doing the will of the Father. That I strove to be dedicated to the Lord, to be obedient always. Always be obedient. There's this amazing thing about obedience is you get double blessings. That I remember one week my companion and I decided that we were going to be a little bit more obedient. We were going to stop biking on the sidewalks because it's illegal. <laughs> and we found six new investigators that week. And did we find new investigators because we were on the, weren't on the sidewalk? No, I had nothing to do with it. It was just that extra little bit of obedience that the Lord is going to bless you for. This gospel is true. The Book of Mormon is the greatest book I've ever read in my life. I had read it so many times before my mission that on my mission, it took me 17 months to finish it because I would spend hours on just one verse and it's just become such an ingrained part of me that just look for the deeper meaning. Look for every word. Embrace every moment that you have to serve the Lord and to just focus in the scriptures. The time that you have to have this set aside time for study because when you get home, it's so difficult when you have dates and you have school and you're planning a wedding and you're planning this and you're doing that and everything's crazy. It's so hard, but I can promise you that those skills that you were learning, my fiance and I do companion study every time that we're together, whether we are together for just a couple hours on a Thursday or we're together for several hours on Sunday or Saturday, we do some sort of little companion study together and it's going to be something that's going to bless you throughout the rest of your life. Every, everything that you learn on your mission Take advantage of the time to learn about what, what it's like to live with someone else. I know that I was able to find my husband so soon after coming home because I knew who I wanted, and that's also just what the Lord had in store for me. But I, I knew so much about who, who I was and who I needed to be with and what things I needed and what qualities. So take, take full advantage of this time that you have to serve the Lord and recognize that there's not going to be a second that goes by that you don't think about your mission. Modesto is the best place to serve. You're going to love it so much. Don't get down because you're serving stateside. You're going to have so many amazing experiences. There are like straight up, just honestly, crazy people everywhere and they have the best stories and they're going to be members. They're going to be people on the street. You're going to be missionaries. Like, it is such a crazy, fun experience to serve in the California Modesto Mission. And you're going to love like all your biking stories and you're just going to have so many experiences that I really don't think you would get anywhere else. That You're just going to have such an experience that because it's so focused on just that talking to everyone and um, especially if you still serve while President Palmer is there. I'm sure the next mission presidents will be just as great. There's just such a focus and love there that everybody is just so down to earth. Like, you're not really going to find a lot of uppity, really mean people. Everybody is just very down to earth and very loving there. And you're going to feel very loved and very ex accepted and very supportive in whatever ward that you serve in, whether you're an elder or a sister, especially sisters. They have not seen a lot of sister missionaries in a lot of the areas. And so it was just so great to serve as a sister there and just be like really the only sister that they've ever seen. Um, so I'm so excited for you to serve in Modesto. Take care of it for me. Tell all the crazy goats up in the Grange hi. I love them. 
and just enjoy the experience. You're going to love it so much.